Film South Asia has adhered to its original vision, which is to allow a platform for filmmakers from all over South Asia. to come in one place, to interact with each other, to gain energy from each other as filmmakers, because as you know, the film while being made is a very lonely exercise. Sometimes it can take years and it's hard because there's very little funding available and a documentary filmmaker makes films because of his or her burning desire to share something important that he or she has felt, has seen. They get energy when they meet others making films in the same terrain, but in different ways. So that is one goal. Another goal is to try to reach out to an audience as much as possible uh, and uh, through Film South Asia and the Travelling Film South Asia we have done that. Since we started our festival in 1997, there has been a sea change. Uh, back then people were still, some were still filming in 16mm. We had already passed the pneumatic barrier to uh, tapes, um, smaller tapes. Um, but then technology now compared to back then, in terms of filming the camera, in terms of editing the console, the computer, and third, projection equipment. Nothing like it is like it was 12, 15 years ago. Everything is so much easier. And so you expect there will be more documentary films being made and better, not so. And this is the little conundrum that we have not been able to answer. It's just something we hope somebody would study. Why? For all the ease of technology, you can even make a fairly good documentary with a smartphone, with the technology within it. You can go everywhere with everything, but so why is non-fiction film not as popular as it should be? You can, you can make a film on anything, nothing is to stop you, except your own time and your effort. And we also feel that for all the availability of technology, the skills, the craft has actually not kept up with the technology. In the end, the audience want not just an important topic, but a well-crafted film.